Hello and welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman. Uh, today we're in the middle of Sionis' tower, uh, the third level of the tower, I think. This is a little tough because um, this is one of those times where I saved the game and then didn't come back to it for about four days or so. So I'm in the middle, two levels above, okay, so I'm two levels up. That is on the third level of the tower. So I should be right here. And indeed, this location is not the second level of the tower. So I think I'm right where I expect to be. Let's, let's turn the sound back on. Okay. So, uh, I still don't know how tall this tower is, but, uh, history, well, volume, history within this particular game suggests four levels, which would leave me, uh, halfway, halfway up the climb. Um, we have no detections, oh no, we do, to the east, we have two different somethings, something one and something two. Not sure where they are. We're gonna get a message. We're gonna fight with a brute. A brute! Which is a new enemy. And I'm down some hit points, probably from hit point drain on the last level. Mm. Let's hope that it doesn't have ranged attacks. It advances probably into a stone blade. Yeah, okay. Still don't, still don't know if it's um has any tricky abilities, but uh, that one was easy. Ooh, a mage's cloak, which um I think I determined is effectively armor, and I think not as protective armor as the bracers that my mages are already using. But it has like an on-use ability. I think I decided it was garbage. I don't remember. Or I think I decided it was not important. What is if I use it now? It did a thing. Which makes me think it, it's one of these buffs. Uh, which I don't need to use an inventory slot on. But I'll check on it later. I feel like I'm doing this wrong somehow. Is this... Because I feel like I should be looking into the corner. Is it actually like this? Oh, no, of course not. Right. Uh, if the wall was right here, I would see it there. So we have a gap, and a wall, and another gap. And some things to the east again. Oh, you can't, you can't just, uh, can we copy and paste them? Whoop! Yeah, I guess we can. We just can't do it the way I thought we could initially. This one is confirmed now. I'm gonna just slightly re... retitle it. One two. Oop. <laughs> Trapped within Azure Stone that moves in sluggish slow motion, small demons repeatedly play through battles on old and forgotten. Ah. Uh... Are they telling me... There's no context for this. There are stones that have these, like, slow animations of battles. Is this on the walls? Or, like... Like, they take it out of my pocket? I, I assume... I'm gonna assume this is, like, on the walls. Um... 
And if it's Azure Stone, it's going to have the blue theme, a different color blue, but uh, m maybe that's the general decoration of this level. I'm going to freeze as well, I type it. Or rather, I meant I'm I typed it off camera. Here's a little message. Uh, Battles Old and Forgotten makes me wonder, you know... Why are there old battles here? Like, is it that Sionis is commemorating things from ages past? Is it that Sionis is some kind of wizard, so like he lives forever? I I don't I don't know. Um, oh, chaos fiends again. Yeah, the chaos fiends just are so irritating. Th those uh, changed their position on me about seven times within the first round probably over the course of the combat they repositioned themselves maybe 20 times and caused spells to miss maybe 7 times I just I'm all for a, you know some enemies that pose a challenge but those are just mostly time wasters they're irritating um, oh another message I was getting used to the idea of there being sort of a single introductory message to a given dungeon level. The once smooth wall now writhes with figures obscene and blasphemous. Cyanus and his foul insanity pulse through this tower level and chill you. Okay. Um. I'm getting the feeling that Cyanus needs either to be cured or put out of his misery. I'm not really sure which. Typing this up off screen. Okay, so here I'm stepping off the messages to get a little bit of detection in. Uh, I found out to the south, down here somewhere, there's a trap and an anti magic zone. Somewhere. Probably run into them in person a bit later. Okay, now this... Oop. Option and right. Um, this one is now confirmed, because we can see it from here. There might be some things in the... something markers in the middle, but don't know for sure. song ran out. I'm gonna leave off marking all the somethings. It seems like they're just endemic over here. And now we have a fight. Um, Mask of Death. I guess I'm keep I guess I'm keeping this fight for some reason, I'm not sure. Mostly skeptics. Uh, should I pull in the skeptics or just blast them? I'm going to go with the blasting approach this time. When I choose to spend a lot of spell points, at least for this point in the game, I seem to have enough art artillery to mostly just win. That will not, I think, be true later. I think we'll have enough spell points that just cast a lot of spells will not uh, clear them out. Which way am I facing? I've forgotten. Okay, I just t turned south a bit here. Oh, and now we can see uh, the trap to the south. 
which means it's probably here. And we can't see the anti-magic, meaning it's probably here. Yep, that was correct. Which means I can go ahead and clear out the trap. I guess I could have already done that. Again, looking to the west, we see the somethings. They're just... I don't know, I guess I'll go ahead and... Mark another one. So I don't forget at some point. I think that's what I see. Uh, I don't see a something to the east. Okay. Maybe I should have been taking better notes. Oh, and I'm standing on a stuck square. Sure, why not? And I jumped off the stuck into a darkness. Alright, darkness prevents scanning. From here I can sense an odd, which is probably over here somewhere. Maybe there. And we have our first death in a while. Chantrell went down to a bunch of Mind Mage spells. I was casting Restoration, but uh, didn't land in time. So she got healed to full after she was dead. Luckily, this barely matters. Um... A container. A mystery container that is probably a canteen. Of course, that's... Bards who are dead, uh... Do not... Beyond death is resurrection, right? And new order. One, two, seven, three, four, five... Incidentally, I looked into um, recording the keystrokes because uh, some capture software, including the software I'm using, has some support for that. But it only it doesn't have support for capturing IJKL, which is how I'm actually moving around in the dungeon. So um, it would be kind of valueless, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Uh, more messages. Set in the south wall, you see the image of Hawkslayer. Hawkslayer again! Hawkslayer is everywhere. He looks younger than when you first met him, and has no scars. You also hear Sayana's shrill voice crying. Friend, why can you not save my beloved? <sighs> is he crying now? Is he crying in a recorded image? Given that the, 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 the spoken word is here, that makes me think that this is in context of Hawkslayer, meaning Hawkslayer came here. Oh, right, Hawkslayer is everywhere because 
the old man in the beginning said he had sent other people on this quest. And so Hawkslayer got sent earlier than us and had come to these regions. Although if he came to those regions, why didn't he collect the items? It's like he kind of sucks compared to us. But then again, we're seven people and he's one, so maybe it's unfair. Anyway, uh, so he was here and maybe in the time that Illyria was killed? Um, it seems more like Hawkslayer put down roots everywhere. Anyway, I'm typing this off camera. Uh, and now we're going to step into the anti-magic for completeness. Oh, we got a bunch of located things here. Um, there's, there's the odd. And a quiet. And we can also detect a quiet facing this way. Should put down all these. I think, is it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can see at the end. Makes me think that the silence is here ish. Suppose it could be here as well. And we can also detect the odd facing west from here. Which makes me think it's. There's, well, it means we know there is an odd on this spot. And stepping forward, it comes into our vision, so yeah. At least we'll find the quiet location soon enough. Exactly as guessed. As it turns out. Oh, and we didn't detect anything else from the Silent Square because the message about our bard song getting turned off uh, was like higher priority or something like that. Yeah, but if we make a movement afterwards, yeah, the code probably drew these messages and then drew another message instead that our bard song got turned off. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop playing in the spell point drain that's right here. Oh, this is also spell point drain. How about this? Yep. Still, I'm going to take a moment to recast Sorcerer's Sight in the spell point drain zone. And that will confirm for me that this odd is here because Okay. We also have confirmation as the spell point drain goes two north, but not three. Uh, here we are. One, two, three. And cast. Well, I don't know if I want to cast anything. What I really want to do is figure out where the odds begin and end. But maybe that's not that important. How much does Second Sight cost? Okay, so this location is definitely spell point drain, but it's not odd because 
our detection still works. Standing here. Okay, and now I've used up all my spell points, which is fine, because I was sort of planning to. And we can refill with some gems. And I'm standing in what's probably a something marker. Uh... And so I guess what I'm going to do now is, well, after recasting Sorcerer's Sight, is watch my spell points, which I should have been watching before. Yeah, so we're in a spell point regen zone. This one too. If only the spell point regen was nearly as strong as the spell point drain. back and at least this far. Can I sense anything? Nope. Oh, now and now we have entered into the hit point drain portion of the uh, of the experience. Okay, so... Those at least are hit point drain. I expected to continue. Yep. And it ends here, so... Oh, something tells me this is actually the end of the tower, that this, this tower is only three tall. This is partly um, my memory from playing this before. Not that I know... Basically, this feels like what I remember being the end of the tower, but also this just also feels like a you know, I don't know, confrontation location. Let's heal all the damage. Did my... Are my hit points going up where I'm standing right now? I think I think they are. Hold on. Yeah, that's I know I gave some people hit point regen. Maybe not anymore. I thought at some point it did, but no, we're definitely standing in a hit point regen. That is sort of not what I expected at all. And I also found out that hit point regen does not show up in Sorcerer's Sight. Yeah, it's all along here. So, uh, first spell point drain, then spell point regen, followed by... Oh, I mismapped this, didn't I? Yeah, I th th was there like a little alcove there? I don't think I ever noticed that. I'm gonna have to 
try to remember to check that on the way out. Is this hit point regen too? Yep. Okay, and now I'm gonna cast Restoration, which will defeat my ability to detect hit point regen. That's right. Walked in here, there's another door in the front. You see Cyanus huddled in a corner, weeping beneath a painting of his lost love. Why, he sobs with anguish. This guy's kind of one note. Uh, I'm writing this down. Off camera. So somehow I feel like something should happen here. Uh, also, this room has doors in every direction. So he's not attacking me, which is I sort of expected. Um... Can we heal him? Somehow? We have spells that supposedly cure insanity. But, like, I, I don't know how I would target him. How about heal? Griselda casts a spell at Sionis. Sionis gets up from the ground and wipes the tears from his eyes. I want to thank you for ridding me of this madness that I had to endure. Illyria was murdered many moons ago by something far more powerful than anything she has ever fought. Tarjan tortured her before she died. Tortured her? And I was forced to watch this happen. Her screams drove me insane, for I couldn't do anything to save her. All I ask is that you find this being and kill him for what he has done. Cyanus sadly offers you a magic triangle. Take this and enter the tomb of my beloved Illyria, trying to hold back a tear. With it, a bard can open the black crystal that blocks the only way in, but beware of dangers, the dangers within if you don't take precautions. Who wants to get the magic triangle? Um, does a mage have room? Sanus is here, slowly repairing the damage he has done to his home while in the insanity... while in the insanity that had unmercifully tormented his soul. Okay, that was fairly straightforward. And I have this magical triangle. This is a point... I'm trying to think of when you're required to have specific classes in this game. Uh, the, the rogue, I think, is effectively required in a few fights, uh, one of which we've seen, I think, does not actually require the rogue, just so the rogue makes it a lot easier. Uh, the chronomancer is required to get to places. Archmage was required to get through all the spells in in Galidia, so basically Elend Elendor, the Arch chronomancer, was required. Elena, the rogue, is going to be required, if not already. Um, one Archmage of R2 is required. The Bard is now required. Um, I can't remember if the Bard was required earlier. I don't think so. Although really if helpful. And I think in the starter dungeon, maybe there are puzzles that need it? I don't remember clearly. Um, I think none of the fighter types are required because... They're intended to be interchangeable. But, uh, at least three of your party are effectively pinned down. Well, sorry, four. Four of your, for standard play, I guess, six? It's kind of a strong set of requirements. The first game, I think you had no actual requirements. There was a puzzle that implied you had to have a bard, but, um,. You could just phase door past it. I guess there was a requirement. You had to have someone who could use phase door, or someone who could use a port arcane, or a bard. 
at least at one point of the game. You could probably swap them in and then continue without them. Okay, uh, so what's this room about that, um, is past Sionis? Is it just decorative? Well, there's a stone ogre in here somewhere, for some reason. Which I'll kill. It is funny that I can kill a stone ogre by stoning it. Perhaps it's not really made of stone, that's just like... It's colloquial name. Yeah, I, this room doesn't seem to have... I wonder if uh, we had gone into this room before healing Sionis if something would have happened. Well, I'm not going to worry about it at this point. I'm going to try to head out of the dungeon. We may have to go the long way and be drained and everything. But... Not without visiting that little alcove I missed before, which will probably have nothing in it. But you know. Fastidiousness slash OCD is a strong force. Okay, so we just walked into the alcove, there was nothing there, great. Um, can we teleport out directly from here? One, one south, and two west, and two down. Yes, teleporting out was effective. Oh, switch, switch disks to... The word telling me what disc I'm on is like directly on top of Camtasia's glowing triangle of glowing re rectangle, rather, of recording. It's like, oh, this is the rectangle I'm recording. I better let you not forget, even though I don't really want it. I wish it would just turn off and go away. Um, I don't move these windows. It's fine. But whatever. It was making it super hard to read the disc. Uh, so given that I've just finished Sionis Tower, that pretty much completes the episode's goals... But, um, before I finish up, I want to go back to the Wizards Guild. And see how we're doing on levels. Kriznok is a long way to go. Lady Oakenshield is a short way to go. I was hoping that she would be the one to level up. Eleanor needs a hundred thousand, and plus, Griselda needs the same. Lillian, I, I still kind of don't really know why Lillian has a very different experience points total from Griselda, but there might be legit reasons for that. So, um, that concludes Silas Tower. In our next section, we'll be going back to Illyria's tomb, which we already mapped. And we found this blockade of a large crystal blocking the way north. This triangle should get us past that. Um, so hopefully we can finish up Illyria's Tomb next time. See you then. Bye.